Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following simultaneous equations using the substitution method. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, I have 4x plus 2y equals to 8. I'm going to tag that my equation 1. And my second equation x plus 3y equals to 2. I'm going to tag that my second equation. Now, for a simultaneous equation, I have two variables to solve for x and y in this case. Now, to pick the equation I'm going to use for my substitution, I'll check each variable to see if I have anyone having a coefficient of 1. In this case, I have x here having a coefficient of 1, that makes it easy for me to make it my subject of formula, thus avoiding fractions. So I have from equation 2, equation 2 states that x plus 3y equals to 2, making my x subject of formula, I have x equals 2 minus 3y. I'm going to tag that as my equation 3. Therefore, for my next step, substituting, I'm going to substitute equation 3 into the first equation, that's equation 1. I'm picking the first equation because I already used my equation 2 to find the variable to substitute. Therefore, every occurrence of x in equation 1, I substitute with 2 minus 3y. My new equation becomes, I have 4 x will be replaced with 2 minus 3y plus bracket plus 2y is equal to 8. If I expand the bracket, I have 8 minus 12y plus 2y. And moving my 8 to the left hand side, I have that as minus 8 equals to 0. Or I can leave my 8 as it is. I'll leave my 8 on my right hand side. If I collect like terms, I have 8 minus 10y, that's minus 12y plus 2y, equals to 8. If I take out my 8 from both sides, I have minus 10y, I'm applying the balance method, as 8 minus 8, I have minus 10y equals to 0. If I divide both sides by minus 10y, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right, therefore, My y is equal to 0. 0 divided by minus 10 is 0. Because I know the value of y to be 0, I'm going to substitute y equals to 0 into equation 3. Equation 3 states that x equals 2 minus 3y. So my x now becomes 2 minus 3 multiplying y, which is 0. I have x equals 2 minus 0, therefore the value of x will be 2. Let's look at the second example. In this example, I have 3x plus 2y equals to 21. I'm going to tag that as my equation 1. And the second equation, 2x minus y equals to 7. That will be my second equation. Like I did earlier, to make my work easy, I'm going to pick the variable that has 1 as its coefficient and in this case that is y so therefore from equation 2 i have that as 2x minus y equals to 7 and making y the subject of formula i have y equals 2x minus 7 what i did was i have 2x minus y equals to 7 if i take minus y to the other side i have 2x is equal to 7 plus y then i move my 7 i have 2x minus 7 equals to y which is the same thing i have here and i'm going to tag that as my third equation the next step i'm going to substitute my third equation which is the new equation into the first equation 
Therefore, every occurrence of y, I replace it with 2x minus 7. I have 3x plus 2y. y in this case is 2x minus 7 equals to 21. If I expand the bracket, I have 3x plus 4x minus 14. The 2 in front of the bracket will multiply all the terms in the bracket. Collecting like terms, I have 7x minus 14 equals to 21. If I move my 14, I have 7x equals to 21 plus 14. That will give me 35. Dividing both sides by 7 to get the value of x, I have x equals 35 divided by 7, 5. To get the value of y, I'm going to substitute x equals to 5 into equation 3. And equation 3, as shown, states that y equals to 2x minus 7. I know that my x is 5, so I have y equals 2 multiplying 5 minus 7. That will be 10, 2 times 5, 10 minus 7. Therefore, the value of y will be 10 minus 7, 3. Thanks for watching. Bye.